Hello, my very most beautiful Virgos. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So, my lovelies, we are going to be doing your June bonus reading. And this reading is going to be all about the person on your mind. So, whoever you're thinking about, Virgo, that is who this reading is intended for. Now, it is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do a personals open. And everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my very most beautiful Virgos, please may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Virgos energy, a very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. I am not available. I lay awake thinking of you. Passionate. And memories. I keep myself distracted and I want to tell you how I feel. I'm scared to reach out. Okay, I want to feel that way again all at the bottom. So... This is gonna. This is feeling very specific, Virgo. So if this does not resonate for you guys, go ahead and check out some of your other placements because I do kind of feel a very specific energy. Um, I, I do feel like this is somebody who's currently in a karmic connection. They, this is somebody who's currently with somebody. Okay, that's what this is feeling like. And I, I do feel like they're missing you. This is somebody that you were involved with in the past, Virgo. Okay, so this is somebody that you had a past connection with. Very intense, very passionate connection. They miss the way that they felt when they were with you. They miss the way that you made them feel. I mean, they th spend a lot of time thinking about you. I'm really getting this energy, especially as I lay awake thinking about you. I, I almost feel this energy of them like laying in bed next to their person, like thinking about you, fantasizing about you. It is a very intense kind of an energy. And, and I do, I feel like this person has a lot of regrets. They have a lot of regrets. And I feel like this is why this energy is like they want to tell you how they feel, but they're scared to reach out. It's it's crazy how these are coming, you know, together like this. So they just keep themselves distracted. They just try to focus on other things um, because they do want to talk to you, but they're afraid to. They want to feel that way again. This person could have done some things here. We have this, I wish I could take back my words. I also feel like it's not just words. I feel like it's like decisions in general. I feel like they have, they're having a lot of regrets. We're going to grab this deck. We're going to take a look at what's going on in their head space, their heart space, their true intentions, and their actions moving forward, if there are any. So what is going on in this person's head space when it comes to Virgo? What are their thoughts when it comes to Virgo, please? Somebody else had a kind of, not exactly like this energy, but a, had some similar energies to it. And I can't remember who it was. Aquarius, maybe. Gemini, maybe Aquarius. I think it was Aquarius. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. The Three of Wands. That can be a card of sending something out. It can be a card of... To me, sometimes it can be a card of hope. It can be a card of sending something out. So that could be them thinking about sending out a message. It could be a card of future planning. They could be trying to figure out, you know, where to go from here, what to do from here. The Hierophant. Some of them could be married. Some of them could be married now or just in a commitment. And that's where they're kind of... Um, and I don't think it's a coincidence that this is coming out under the I'm not available. So some of them are, um, you know, either married or in a commitment, a serious commitment. And, you know, that's why they're hesitant to send something out. That's why it's the three of wands can also be kind of waiting for the right time when there never will be one. That could be something is that they're, they're, you know, trying to wait for the right time to reach out or that's what they're telling themselves anyways. They're waiting for the right time to leave an unhappy connection uh, when there never will be one. So, you know, now is the right time. Always... So let's see. What's going on in this person's feelings? What are their feelings when it comes to Virgo? Three of Pentacles. A lot has been put on display for them. So like these people, their work is being put on display for everybody. And I do, some of them are even, 
some of them online. I don't know why it's feeling like this to me, but some of them could like display their connection, but it's, it's almost like this false connection. I almost feel like somebody puts on a really good front. So like if you got onto their social media, okay, you would see like this super happy couple, like this super amazing life, but I feel like things aren't as good as they make them seem. It, it seems a little bit like a show. So I do, I feel like a lot is being put on display for them. I feel like they don't want to have to kind of keep up this show, keep up this pretense. It does kind of feel to me that they're thinking back. The Three of Pentacles can also be a card of like really being on the same page, getting along, being friends as well as lovers. You know, I, I do feel like they're thinking about that with you, how good of a connection that you guys had, how perfectly in sync that you guys were, all these like amazing things. The Ace of Swords, yeah, having a lot of major realizations, a lot of major realizations when it comes to what they what they really want and when it comes to their past, when it comes to their decisions, a lot of major regrets. The King of Cups, I feel like this person has strong feelings for you. Very strong feelings for you. And I feel like they keep telling themselves that they're going to you know, do something about this connection that they're in or this situation that they're in, but they're like they're, oh, well, I'm going to wait for this or I'm going to wait for that or until this happens or what about this? You know, that kind of an energy. What are this person's true intentions? What are this person's true intentions? The Seven of Cups. So I feel like they maybe aren't 100% sure. Uh, the Seven of Cups, you know, that is... Emotional confusion. It's not really being sure what option to take. I do feel like some of that is an excuse to not actually have to face up to things, um, because sometimes it can see it can talk about illusions. So I feel like this person kind of, kind of like some of these excuses or reasons that this person has or things that they're waiting for. They're illusions that this person is creating, so they don't actually have to um, take action and face up to that. But I do feel like there's just a lot of it's an overwhelming situation for them. The Three of Cups. I feel like they want to reunite with you. The Five of Swords. They go back and forth. I think that that's one of the reasons they don't want to reach out is because they haven't done anything about this connection yet. And they know that they can't approach you with a third party situation. So they recognize that that's something that they're going to have to cut out the Five of Swords. And they go back and forth because they, they're afraid to actually do what they need to do over here. So they, they do want to reconcile with you. I just feel like this person, you know, they want you. But this person has to, you know, be willing to stand up and do the things that they need to do. They got the Queen of Cups here as well. They miss you. They think about you. Especially because it's coming out under memories. You know, the Queen of Cups to me sometimes can be a, like the sad boy, sad girl vibe. It can be like really missing somebody, longing for them, focusing on the feelings. Then the Queen and the King of Cups here. So they could feel like even though they may be committed or married to this person, they feel like you are their, their soul person. You are their divine counterpart. The Ten of Wands, and it really weighs on them. You know, sometimes they miss you so much that it's almost overwhelming. They could feel like they have a lot of responsibilities. So they could, like I said, some of them could be married. They could have children. Some of them could have a home together or finances tied up together. Just take it how it resonates. So they feel like they have a lot of responsibilities. They have a lot that's weighing on them. It's, it's not what they feel like is an easy thing. There's also this fear of rejection from you. They could fear that... You know, you may not feel the same way about them or you may not want to take them back after this. There's a lot of energies here. This, But you you are who this person wants. Whew. All right, so we're going to grab another deck. We're going to take a look and see what your biggest challenge is within this situation, Virgo. We are going to be taking a look at what you don't see coming and then some advice. Biggest challenge, we have the shadow side. So in this deck, it's called the shadow side, but it is the devil. Um, so I do, I feel like one, it's this very, I don't want to say like obsessive, but I do feel like this person is, you know, there's a lot of fears, there's a lot of anxieties, and I do feel like they kind of obsess over you. They think about you 
constantly. They try to keep themselves distracted from it, but it's getting to the point where they're having a difficult time with that. And for you, I feel like there's a lot of fears and anxieties surrounding the situation as well. And the full card surrounding taking another chance with this person. You know, they want to, they want, I feel like this is mostly their energy over here though, is them needing to push past the fears of actually just taking action and, and doing the difficult things so that they can have this new beginning, so that they can free themselves from a situation that they're not happy in anyways. What doesn't Virgo see coming? The King of Wands. This person may end up taking action. And how passionately you still feel. I feel like a lot of you guys still feel this very passionate connection to this person. Despite the distance, despite no communication, despite how long it's been, you know, there's still there's still something there. The Six of Swords. It may just surprise you. Especially if you guys live at a distance, this person could end up showing up. This person could end up coming to see you. I feel like that may surprise you, but it may also show you how serious this person is about you. I do feel like there very well could end up being some communication in the future. It doesn't feel like right now. Um, they have some stuff that they have to work past, but I do see it here. They are missing you. They just have a lot of fears, fears of rejection, fears of this responsibility, fears of having to face up to all of that. What advice do we have for Virgo? the moon some deep reflection um and the unknown you know i feel like a lot of, there's a lot of unknowns surrounding this situation and that can be um that can be frightening in itself we do as you know humans do tend to fear the unknown or we fear where we're not sure what's going to happen and so you know just keep in mind that if you're having some fears and anxiety it, it's probably surrounding that okay so that is what I have for you guys. Now, if it resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just go ahead and put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.